after a dramatic day in the Italian parliament, President Mattarella has declined Prime Minister Mario Draghi's offer of resignation following a split in the country's coalition government. Tensions have been mounting between the Prime Minister and one of his coalition partners, the Five Star Movement. It came to a head today after the Populist Party boycotted a government confidence vote, saying that Draghi is not doing enough to address the current economic turmoil. Well, Draghi insisted that without unity in the coalition, the government could not continue. Well, covering this story for us from Rome tonight is our correspondent, Georgia Orlandi. We can go over to her now. Good to see you, Georgia. Bring us up to date with the latest on this story. Hi, Elena. Well, differently from what early reports had suggested, saying that uh, the government was perhaps going to be put through a confidence vote without Mario Draghi having to resign, well, clearly the crisis has deepened with this latest announcement. We also understand that Prime Minister uh, Mario Draghi is going to brief uh, Parliament on Wednesday. So we'll understand a little bit more about the current crisis next week. But just to recap what happened in the past few days, we had already reported on the visions emerging within the five-story movement that actually made Foreign Secretary Luigi Di Maio uh, leave the movement with Giuseppe Conte representing the original political party. Giuseppe Conte, as we know, uh, tabled several political demands to continue back in the government, saying that the movement was ready to quit if Mario Draghi uh, would not implement such measures. We know that the two had the chance to meet on a few occasions, but they could not reach uh, an agreement. And Mario Draghi also was clear. He said if the movement is going to pull out uh, of the coalition. I'm going to leave office and clearly today's vote has become indeed a political test for the current government with the five-star movement uh, abstaining. Um, also, to remind ourselves, Mario Draghi is not a politician, does not come from a political background, is a very uh, experienced leader that was actually appointed uh, to make Italy a key power, not only in Europe, but also globally. Elena? So, Giorgio, with all of that in mind, what comes next? Well, that's a $1 million question, really. And what we do understand is that, yes, Mattarella rejected uh, Mario Draghi's resignation, meaning that he will request government to actually be put through a, a new test in Parliament. So uh, it will undergo a confidence vote. But clearly, uh, it's a very much evolving situation. And the next few days will be crucial to understand how the crisis is unfolding.